Well, England have won their first two games but still need a result. Today, go through the permutations for me. Yeah, very good evening from Adelaide. Just before I do, just to coach over my shoulder, um, we think that's the England team just arriving for what is an absolutely crucial game. And why is it so crucial? Because this pool is so tight. Three teams can still qualify. So that's England, China and Denmark. And despite having won two games Already, England need a point to make sure they qualify. Clearly, you can't go into a game wanting to draw it. So they really need to go out and win. And because it's such a tight group and there aren't many goals that have been scored, it may well go down to goal difference, but that may not separate these sides. And that means the dreaded lots. That's uh, picking names out of a hat to go through to the knockout stages. So it is a game this evening. England simply can't afford to lose. You wrote an article yesterday, Gail, about the importance of Serena Wiegmann getting this game right today. I take it the biggest dilemma is working out what system to play without Kira Walsh? This is the week that Serena Wiegmann really earns her money, isn't it? This is the week she gets to show everybody why she's regarded as one of the best coaches in the women's game. She gives very little away. She's pretty unshakable, but... Even she must have thought, my goodness, this is a challenge this week. She's already without her captain from last summer, Leah Williamson. She's without Beth Mead, top scorer at the competition. And now she faces the prospect of playing this game. And if they make it past however many other games, without the best midfielder in the world in Kira Walsh. And we saw last week uh, her scenario planning meant that Georgia Stanway moved further back to a more defensive role that Walsh would normally play and she brought on Laura Coombs to play further up front and listen England got the job done but there were some really uh, scary moments in terms of you know late on in the game when Denmark really could have equalized and there is a little bit of a concern just come from the press room a little bit of worry because there's a point isn't there that all these injuries will catch up and England's lack of goal scoring may well catch up. So it's really important that she gets that decision right. And given that she can be a little bit of a conservative coach and she doesn't like making many changes, we think she will go with Stanway in that defensive position and Coombs. Uh, and then we suspect that the rest of the team uh, will be as it was last weekend and they, uh, last against Denmark, um, you lose track of, of days when you're uh, here the other side of the world. Um, yeah, and, and that's what they need to do. They need to just go out, get job done. Lucy Bronze said it herself. They would happily go to this World Cup winning 1-0 and 1-0 tonight would be good enough. They'd top the group and head to Brisbane for a, a last 16 game.